Hi, my love. Um, this is going to be your intuitive tarot session. I have a nice little collection of decks that I'm going to be using in your reading. I was taking some time to read your email um, and just select energetically what I feel would be the best decks for your reading. Um, so the ones that I chose are, this is a brand new tarot deck that I purchased today, so I'm going to work with it. So the Celtic Tarot. Um, I'm also going to be pulling the Botanical Inspirations cards for you. Um, the Enchanted Map. This is the one that really jumped out at me to pull for you. As well as the Cosmic Reading cards. For some reason, my eyes kept drawn to this deck. Um, so I'm feeling like there's going to be some sort of important message for you. For me to pull from this one. Usually, I don't pull this deck for readings for clients. Not as much. More so for personal readings for myself. So, <laughs> I was really intrigued to see um, my eyes being drawn to this one particularly. Okay. So, um, because of this particular deck, I will be utilizing the guidebook. Um, just so that I can ensure that I give you, you know guidebook message as well as my own intuitive um, interpretation so let me just get all of the decks here on to the table So, um, my love, I just ask that you get yourself comfortable. If you would like to take notes, I encourage you to take notes with your reading. Um, but you have the video link, so you will always be able to refer back to it whenever you need to. So, the intuitive tarot session is just done there's no set spread. I pull cards. I read intuitively. I also just give you whatever comes through. Um, but you did ask a particular question. So without giving out any of your personal information, um, basically it looks like you were um, retired from your career last year. So congratulations to that. That's a major um, life accomplishment and a big, big change that you're going through. So congratulations. And um, you are just not sure where to go from here. What is your next step? What should you do next? Basically is, is the energy of the question that you're asking. Now, um, I do want to read reversals with my tarot deck. So I usually don't read reversals, but I'm going to start getting myself back into that routine. trying something different this year. All right. So we are looking at basically what is your next step? So what I want to do first is let's just look at the energy of what's going on with you right now. So that'll give me kind of an idea of what we're looking at. Okay, so we have the Six of Wands in reversed, the Magician. And we have the, um, oh, Temperance in reversed, okay. So the first thing that I'm seeing with your energy, um, the Magician at the core is hungry for exciting new things. Manifesting is going to be a big one for you. Um, magician energy can be learning something new. Magician energy is like you're taking a new class or you are being either you're the teacher or the student. Okay. And I feel like for you, you're going to be more so in the student position. Okay. So student position is you personally taking on a new project, a new form of interest, 
a hobby, something that is going to ignite this um, vibration of wanting more to learn a new craft something you've never done before okay so that's what's coming up with the core with the magician card um, so I feel like you're you're hungry for that you're you're opening yourself up to that possibility now the six of wands in the reversal is kind of telling me that you um, don't want to fail you're very, very, very particular right now. Um, retiring was a big step for you. And I'm sensing that there is a little bit of fear um, that maybe not so much that you made the wrong decision, but perhaps that thought has crossed your mind. Um, but I feel like, ooh, here we go. I feel like um, <laughs> time out just came up. Beautiful. Okay, so we'll get into that right now. But um, I feel like the six of wands is kind of like you're 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 worrying too much about what other people might be thinking of your decision to retire or a lot of eyes are on you. And it's like you don't want to fail in other people's perspectives. You don't want to you don't want them to see you fail and you don't want to fail either. So you're in a brand new phase of your life. You are in like literally the next chapter. OK. And I feel like this is scary territory for you because this is the unknown all over again. What I'm seeing in the in the next card is the um, equal. This one is called equilibrium, but this is temperance. And temperance in reverse is telling me a lack of balance and impatience. So what I'm seeing this is aligning with the timeout card. Um, perhaps you've been feeling impatient. You've been feeling kind of like, okay, I need to have something new. I need, I need something to occupy my time. I, I can't just sit at home and do nothing. You're maybe you're used to, you know, being on the go and you're used to being around a whole bunch of people for eight hours of the day. You know, it's really hard to get out of that kind of, um, habit that <laughs> that environment um and then all of a sudden it's like you have all of this time to yourself so i feel like the temperance in reverse is kind of saying you are finding it difficult to be in your own peace of mind to sit at home and not do anything to just kind of be in your own zone and that's really interesting because to me that's making you feel like you feel like energetically you are more imbalanced than you were perhaps when you were working. So that's interesting to me um, because I see this as it's just a need for you to get yourself, your head, your mind into a new way of thinking and seeing your day-to-day -day life. Now, the timeout card came up for you. This is number 32. So I'm gonna look in the guidebook real fast um, because I'm curious to see what the guidebook message says. Although I'm going to tell you my own personal perspective of timeout is kind of saying with this whole um, feeling rushed and impatient and in your inability to sit at home and do nothing. I feel like this card is saying you need this. You need to be in this space of just having no expectations and no responsibilities, at least for a little bit until you get comfortable with this new chapter of your life. Okay. So it's almost like the timeout card is kind of telling you to slow it down a little bit. Um, so we have, <laughs> it says stop racing around the clock, step outside and feel the magic of oneness and nature. So first things first, spirit is saying, spend some time outside. Stop worrying about, you know, having to, I need to do this and this and this and this. No more laundry list of things to do. It says, if you've picked this card, spirit is calling for you to slow down. Take some time from your busy schedule and hustle, uh, the busy schedule and the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Chasing the clock and getting yourself all caught up in the illusion of time has been taking its toll on you. For so long, you've been at war with the statements like, I just don't have enough time. Spirit understands your hunger and desire to evolve as a soul and can see the blockages that you that you from exploring oh that the blockages that stop you from exploring further <laughs> now it's interesting because it's almost like spirit is saying we know that you are used to having this huge schedule and you know you probably had a whole daily routine for the week you know 
and now it's almost like you have all the time in the world and what are you gonna do with it? So the first things first is time out. You allow yourself to sit into sit in the day. Feel out literally just one day. Sit, do nothing, have no expectations, have no responsibilities, don't have any like a to-do list. Just enjoy your day. Enjoy this free time and get yourself comfortable with creating a whole new schedule for yourself. Um, let's see, we have bellflower gratitude gratitude makes sense of our past brings peace for today and creates a vision for tomorrow so first things first spirit is saying have gratitude say your thanks for allowing yourself to have this whole experience next we have crocus <laughs> i'm hoping i'm saying that right cheerfulness it is spring again the earth is like a child that knows poems by heart spring again i mean i'm sorry cheerfulness is like look at the optimistic viewpoints of your new life optimistically see this as a whole new opportunity to advance in a whole new trade of activities classes hobbies you know things that you never had the time before that you now do have that's what the magician energy is all about um Let's see. So if there has been something that you've been curious about, um, something that you have been wanting to try out, um, a class, learning things, this is the time to do it. This is, woo, you got cards flying out everywhere. <laughs> this is the time for you to embrace that. First card, One Ring Circus. I love it. I feel like the One Ring Circus is kind of saying this is a solo adventure. You are now disconnected from, you know, priorities of other people. You are now literally your own solo creator. This is your life. This is your time. Every day for the rest of your life is devoted to just you now. There is no obligations to other people. Um, the deep freeze came up. This kind of makes me feel like the, the timeout card, deep freeze, but let's see what 26 is. Uh, where's my guidebook for? Here it is. It seems kind of like spirit really wants you the first step before you even start anything new. The spirit wants you to just be kind of frozen or time out. Take it slow. Deep freeze. The cold winter beckons you to slow down and put a freeze on things that are not yet ready to bloom. So yeah, like spirit is kind of saying, tone it down a little bit. If you feel like you need to be rushed to do something and to come up with something for yourself, you don't, you're, you're not rushed right now. Take your time. And then we have golden palace. Now this could be your home. Golden Palace can be your environment, your home space. Maybe this is a time for you to learn to do something within the home. This could be redesigning your home, um, refurbishing your home. This could be maybe you want to um, do some renovations in the home or even learning a new kind of um, some sort of a, a personal spiritual healing to do things from the house. So like like with me, when I do my readings, I do them home, here at home. So perhaps that that's what that could be. Um, the Golden Palace, let's see what that is. Number 23. Um, Golden Palace represents good fortune, ambitions fulfilled, wealth and prosperity it may also indicate emotional fulfillment as perhaps you're entering a time of hap happiness that is long overdue so i could see that being a thing if you have now you know you are venturing into retirement life this is literally something that has been a long time coming for you this is something that is well deserved and you need to embrace that and you first things first is you need to allow yourself to accept this new lifestyle and tell yourself that this is meant for you, you know? So the first thing to answer your question is what is like, what is, what are you supposed to do next? Spirit is asking you to slow down. Spirit is saying you need to take things um, one step at a time. 
and I would say you'll know for yourself how long this slow down deep freeze process is going to be for you. Um, for some people who are newly retired, it takes them maybe a couple weeks, um, maybe a couple days for some people to get into a new routine. However long you notice it's taking you, you go for it. There is no timeline. The next thing I want you to do is kind of start forming a little schedule for yourself, if, especially if that is one of the issues that you are struggling with right now. Not having, not having like a set routine, that kind of thing. So I want you to start setting a simple schedule for yourself. And this is something I actually had to do too um, once I moved into my home so that I don't fall into the pit of being lazy. <laughs> so get yourself like a, a little schedule like what time of, are you going to wake up on the weekdays versus the weekends? Are you going to allow yourself to sleep in? What time do you want to be up by? Are you going to exercise? Are you going to shower in the mornings? Are you going to shower at night? Um, you know, what time is breakfast, lunch, dinner? Um, you know, those are the things I'm talking about with a schedule, especially if you're going to be spending more of your time at home. You're going to need to get yourself into some kind of you know, it's not a set schedule, like you have to do things at this time, but if you're used to being on a set a schedule, maybe that'll be good for you. Um, or it could be the complete opposite. If you don't want a schedule, this is your time to get used to not being on one and allowing yourself to sleep in. Um, and then once you get kind of comfortable in like the house schedule, then we can start introducing elements like you know, what interests do you want to take up? What hobbies? Um, is there a certain class, a recreational class that you would want to take, you know? Um, and then you can go from there. I feel like with that magician card, I feel like here he is again. <laughs> only he's in reverse now. So um, I feel like with that magician card, it's kind of saying you are destined to be a student of some sort. So there is going to be some some sort of class that you're going to be taking or you may want to take. Um, and you know, you're going to be benefiting from that. But I feel like um, the process of getting to that point of taking this class won't be right away. I feel like it's going to take you some time. Um, because he came up in reverse, which is to me my sign of slowing down, like it's a slow process. Um, we have the Knight of Wands that is also up in reverse. So Knight of Wands energy is usually real swift and quick. And the fact that it's in reverse is telling me to slow down as well. This is not something to be impulsive with. This is the, literally your next step into what you want to do um, with your free time and like what kind of course of study or what projects or hobbies you want to take up. This is something that is going to take some time for you to evolve and, and think about it. Um, and really think about things that interest you, you know, because the Knight of wands, wands energy is passions. So you want to like, if you're going to take a class or learn about something new, you want it to be something that you are passionate about. Um, same thing with the seven of wands. These are little obstacles that you might be hitting in the next few months. Um, with the retired life, this could be maybe you're budgeting for a certain thing. Maybe you have to be, you know, on a strict budget now. Um, you know, you can, you might be dealing with um, not having as much social life as you used to or as you are used to. So maybe you're going to have to get in, you know, get comfortable with scheduling, you know, coffee dates or lunch dates with friends or old coworkers or family members, that kind of thing. You're going to have to learn to reprioritize all of those things. And then the two of cups I'm seeing below the magician, this is one-on-one -on -one communion time. So this could be, like I said, reuniting with an old friend, um, maybe strengthening your relationships with people around you. Um, this could be meeting new friends, meeting new people. You might meet new people if you're taking a class. So this could be, you know, meeting a whole new set of lifelong friends in this next phase of your life. Um, but I also feel like the two of cups is kind of saying, honor your your physical human need for companionship so and this can be in love or this could be in friendships you will need that and i feel like as you know human beings when we work we we work because we need to make money 
but we also work to socialize. And once that is no longer an element in our life, it's a quick, it's a huge change. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> it's something big that we have to get used to. So that could be something that might be popping up. That magician card, um, that's, that might be something that will, you'll be, you know, realizing and, I feel like as you take on a new class or you learn something new, you're going to meet a whole new range of people. Just basically like making new friends. We have balance that came up. So balance is basically as you go into this next phase of figuring out your new routine, your new schedule, your balancing your friendships, your relationships, your one-on-one -on -one time with the people who are closest to you. Um, balancing one-on-one -on -one time with yourself, your independence, balancing your checkbook, making sure you are remaining in, you know, honoring your budget. Um, and then balance is also spirituality. This is a good time for you to get more in depth and involved with your spiritual journey. This is a new phase of yourself. So I feel like that's also going to be very important. Surrender came up for you. <laughs> so the surrender card could be, um, this is you surrendering to this new lifestyle. Don't fear it. Allow yourself to embrace it. You deserve it. This has been a long time coming. Enjoy it. And then we have free spirit and I love it. I think no wonder this deck wanted to come out for you. <laughs> I feel like the free spirit card is just revealing that this is your time to expand this is a whole new phase of your life. This is for you to literally spread your wings, um, be free, do the things that you wanted to do in life that you never had time to do before. Now is the time to do that. And so as you watch this video, I hope that you get new ideas for things that, that might be interesting to you. The botanical inspirations cards come up. So I don't know if you're into gardening or you love flowers. That might be a new hobby. Um, you know, taking a class, I, if it was me, if I was, you know, if I had all the time in the world, I would be taking on, I would be picking up where I left off with my Reiki healings, um, learning to do all of that kind of stuff. Um, you know, crystal healing, that kind of thing. That's what I would do. But you also have to honor your own passions and that's where you come up with like your next move for what you want to learn about. We have the sacred lotus, enlightenment. I love that. That's spirituality. So whatever the path may be, the new thing that you want to learn, the sacred lotus is kind of giving me that feeling of spirituality. So you may be embracing more of your spiritual stuff. Maybe, like I said, crystal healings, energy healings, um, doing more doing more stuff with your with your spirit guides and like, you know what I mean? Like more of the metaphysical aspects of life. Flying came up. I love it. So I feel like, okay, so I just heard soar. I feel like with the flying, I feel like they're saying like, like the spread your wings, the free spirit. I feel like spirit is saying to fly. You have no limitations. The sky is your limit. That's what spirit is saying for you. So I feel like you are being guided to don't set boundaries. That, that's what spirit is also saying. Don't put up walls. I feel like spirit wants you to know that for so many, for so long prior to this experience of becoming retired, that you devoted so much of your energy to other people and the needs of others. And spirit's kind of giving me that vibration and I feel like spirit wants you to know that this is your time now. And this is okay to be stingy. It's okay to be selfish. You're not being selfish by embracing your, ne your, your next phase of your life, even though you may think you are. So I feel like spirit wants you to know that and they want you to embrace this new, this new side of you. Um, I think it's beautiful, my love. And I'm really excited for this phase of your life and I hope that you are inspired. I hope that this reading gave you something to to embrace and to think about and whatever was popping up in your mind, if you had a, note pa a notepad and paper um, and a pen, I hope that you were writing notes of all of these ideas and things that are rolling around in your mind as you're watching this video. And um, you know, don't, don't, 
don't limit yourself. Just keep going. And um, like I said, I feel like this is going to be a huge, like, like a spiritual awakening process for you. I feel like this is a, a soul spirit journey for you too, but it takes time. This is not something to rush into right now. This is take your time and everything will start to evolve as it is meant to. And you will know when it is time to stop being in timeout and to start getting into your new next phase of your life. So with that, my love, thank you so much. I am wishing you all of the best. And anyone, if you are watching still, um, this is the Intuitive Tarot Session. If you would like to book a reading with me, click the link below, check me out, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, my loves.